All right, we're about to take apart the WMS button panel here. So we're gonna flip it over and start unscrewing the back plate here. Each bolt, pretty simple. All right, that's the last screw off the back plate. We're gonna flip it back over, take the back plate off actually first, then flip it back over and take the face plate off. We're gonna take all the plastic coverings off. And then flip it back over. And then what we're gonna do is slowly and carefully take the screw off that connects the button on the other side off the big one and now off one of the smaller ones and then next we carefully unnotch the prongs off the big one and the small one there they're made of plastic so be very careful they, they will break and then the big one should just come right out then you closely you can see the tail still connected to the connector here you're going to push you're going to push up on the connector gently and then the tail should come out same with the smaller one tail connected he's pushing up on the connection and then the tail pops out and this is a closer look of the tail connection of the button. We're gonna take out the tail gently by pulling up. See it rise up just like that. And that's what releases the tail. Just like so. The big one is the same way. So now we're putting... Um, big one, small one. We're gonna take the screen out of the buttons so what we do first is we unlatch the sides here just like that pull that off pull the black housing off and then slide the screen out of the black plastic face should slide right out see the notches on the on the top of the black face there that's the tail side so when you're putting the screen back in that's the side that you're gonna put it in uh, slide it back in so that was the big one we're gonna do the small one just like the big one sides first loosening the sides taking the back housing out sliding the screen out there you have it all right and now we're going to put the new screens in so what we're going to do is grab a screen the big one first here and then we're going to notice the tail is being slid in and it's going to be on the notch side of the black face there so it's tail side Then you slide the tail through the housing. You should hear it click just like that. That's the sides clicking back in. And there you have it. And now we're doing the small one. Sliding the tail tail side on the notch side there and then sliding the tail through the housing hearing the click there we go and now and then clicking it in all right so what we're doing is we're showing you a closer look of the tail when you insert it into the connection here 
the tail should go all the way in and then you push down on the connection there that's what secures it if not in it the the screen won't turn on there we go and then that's the hole that the the back of the housing goes connects to the uh, plastic covers on the buttons just like how we took them off just like that and then we put the, the face oh I'm sorry we flip it back over before we put the face back on we have to screw the back connections in Then the face goes back on. All right. Then after that, just the back plate and then screw it back in. And that's it. How to change the OLED screen for a WMS button panel.